Welcome back to 29C. We are making more fire brick block. I'm okay with us having extra fire clay left over. Some people would not be. But it doesn't bother me at all. We're up to the obsidian again. The Enderman, okay. That's what that blue looking one looks like is an icy. Wow, okay. We had just enough. That's three of them now. The problem is we don't have enough coal coat. <laughs> what's wrong with it? What's or what's not happening that you want to happen? Lack of spines, yeah. It's funny because I've seen a couple of different people try and do slime farms and not be able to do it. And get so ticked off. Are you about to rage quit? Don't rage quit. So I've got three of four... So you cleared an ocean already? Holy crap, man. Did you use some kind of machine? Oh, okay. So you didn't drain an ocean, you just... 
there's one of the guys that I follow on Twitch, G is the key. He's currently trying to drain an ocean to make a farm. Right. So you've got a part of it that doesn't really matter because they can't spawn in it anyway. So unless you run into caves underneath the ocean, which, you know, what are the chances? I think we had like 39 of these. Uh, we still have 15. Oh, hey, these are ready. And it sounds like our next set is ready, too. That's sacred oak. <laughs> because I was like, you know what? I got to use the sacred oak for something. Might as well use it for furnace fuel. I grew and cut down that big ass tree for a reason, dang it. Not just to let it sit in a uh, chest. So yeah, I'm using sacred oak. <laughs> because why not Uh, well, I got a Coke oven running with the emphasis on a Coke oven running. So that's going to be my, uh, yeah. Automating them is not something that I am thinking I can do at this point. I mean, I probably could, but... I'm not at that point yet. Oh, I don't know why I did that. So I can't automate them yet. Water in here doesn't work. The yeah, tertiary adjunct was telling me that one of the things that I need to make sure that I'm paying attention to and doing as soon as I can is batch crafting. That that's something he wished he would have done in his first playthrough earlier. Yep. Yeah, what he said. Oh, crud, we're going to be out of gypsum again.
Let's do a quick count. How many of these do I need? I need one, two, three, four, and I need four there. And then I need one, two, three, four. I need two more. Can I get two more? I think I can get one more. No, I can get six more. Two. You batch craft the raw materials and then motors and pistons you make on a case by case basis, but you just go into a work table and grab a few. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> yep. So while I'm concentrating on things like, Oh, hey, what's up? There. Four by. Come over here so I can hit you. That's not over here so I can hit you. All right. So let's clean up the rest of the stuff. Make the last of this. I can make a couple more if I want, but I'm not going to. All right, let those run. Let's uh, pick up this crafting table because this project is basically done. Where are we going to put that craft? Okay, first of all, let's get it out of the builder's bag because put it here and put this stuff in it. There we go. So that's if we want to make more Bricked blast furnaces, but we have four now, so woot woot. We can't use all four because we don't have enough coming out of this guy here, our Coke oven. But that's fine. That actually cools pretty quick. Considering how long it takes you to pick up obsidian, it cools fast. Wow, we must have been standing close enough this time. Every once in a while, I leave some sit. Doesn't happen that often.
picked up all we could. Most of these go down in here. Aluminum, copper, gold. Aluminum, iron, copper, and gold go in there. And then the experience we've been putting up here. You can just eat this stuff for experience, so. All right, so let's take a look at, I guess we can make a hopper. Okay, so your plan, if I understand correctly, really? Huh. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Should have should be fixed now. Ah, uh, no wonder people are coming in. People coming in like this doesn't look like hardcore one seventeen. It is weird like that. It's weird. Yeah, you are correct. Sixty four stacks of sixty four. So you're going to make a dead whale in the ocean and then surround it with a cityscape? They're crazy. They're crazy. Four more ingots. Grab these. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't do that now. You said you were going to build a cityscape around it, which means dead whale in the middle of the ocean, and then you guys are going to have to build on the water. So I will accept nothing less. I hope you know I'm kidding. Or doubling. Love it. One, two. Three, four. Might have to plant one of those sacred oaks again. And then spend two days. That would actually be cool, having a ship near it so it looks like it was mining it for resources. All right. I did pretty good with managing what I had for sacred oak there. Yep. Um, if you could pick any time in history to be, where would it be?
let's go coal mining. Uh, we're proud to be a coal miner. <laughs> That's a good question. Because if you were just visiting, it'd be different than if you were living in it. I think if you could, knowing everything you know now, live in any period of time, what period of time would you live in? Oh, this one. That's kind of different. I want to do this one. I want to do the next nearest one. Hold on. Let's change. Let's edit this one to be... Uh, Paving required. And then let's find another core chunk. <laughs> okay, so if you're a plebe, 1945 plus, okay. So right after World War II. And not, <laughs> sorry, I just find it amusing, and not to Egypt to watch them build the pyramids. But if you're a man of, of some prestige, then Egypt to watch them build the pyramids. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense because you don't want to run no, you don't want to lug no two-ton stones up a hill. <laughs> That's funny. We only had two coal ore? Oh, okay, we had more than two. I could have sworn we had more than two. Well, I just wonder because you uh, keep talking. Because you keep talking. Let's go down one level. Which means we have to dig more. going to ask. Because you, you like building castles and stuff, so I figured medieval times. But, you know, that's just me spitballing. Well, that's about the same time they figured out how to, you know, buttresses and all of that stuff. If you were just visiting, you'd love to go to medieval times to see how they built the cathedrals and castles. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. I agree with you. The The fact that some of those were able to be built with just hand tools and how not, not just that they were able to build it with hand tools, but that even with modern, the modern equipment we have now, our sloppiness right our sloppiness is more than they had then 
and they were, you know, they're cutting pretty good sized blocks of rock. Right? That's, I'm totally with you on that. Should have went down one more level from where I'm at. Oh well. Yep. And watching, because cause I've, you know, uh, modern history has taken a look at the tools, the techniques, uh, the lore behind how some of those things have been made. And in England, they had a, uh, using ancient techniques, they were building a castle. And it's, uh, it's, for lack of a better word, it's an exhibit on how things were done. And you can go and be a part of building the castle. And it's amazing to see, you know, they, they basically set up medieval-style cranes. to lift those blocks into place and they had masons who used chisels to break the stone to get them the right size to go into place and your your lead mason whoever that was was responsible for ensuring that it fit like it was supposed to and in conjunction with the other blocks worked it's it's crazy to me the amount of work that went into lifting one stone and so you had teams who were all about working on a stone And teams led by, like, one Master Mason. Yeah. It's... Even even with modern techniques and, and modern tools, it's not easy. You know, and imagine the guys... The heck was that? And imagine the guys doing the quarrying. Because they've got to get the rough sides. You know, imagine having the job of being the quarry guy and sending slabs or rocks to the work site that are too small imagine 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 the reaming you would get for that anyway i just think it's it was cool to watch All right, that's the end of 29C. We'll be right back.